hello welcome to this training um i hope so far you've enjoyed the um, previous previous lessons and um, you are able to create a product you are able to create a purchase or request for goods and of course confirm it to make it a purchase order in this lesson i'm going to show you how you can receive product from um, the purchase order that has been created now you need to understand these preambles that anytime a purchase is being made or and confirmed then an inventory will have to receive that product into store you need to also understand that sometimes people that have access to inventory don't have access to purchase or people in purchase don't have access to inventory depending on the um, your structure the structure of your company but whether it's one person that is doing purchase and receiving into inventory the process has to be followed once you purchase confirm the purchase order or the put the rfq and then it will become a purchase order and then you receive the product into store so let me show you how you can receive product into your store i mean your warehouse okay so right now let's look at the purchase that we did in the previous lesson so remember we have this particular um, uh, purchase order that has been confirmed once the purchase order is confirmed uh, you will now see a new button here receive product create bill meaning you can pay this uh, vendor and then there's a smart button here this is if you have access to purchase but this is just to show you that we ordered this item dining table five of them we have not received we have not paid so i'm going to show you how you can receive this table or any other item into your store so the first step is go to inventory and um, in the inventory you will see different um, you know operation types and if you group here go to this stage bar here and group by warehouse you can see that we have two warehouses lagos warehouse abuja warehouse we can have several warehouses and we have the receipt section this is where we receive goods into the warehouse internal transfer is where we move goods from one warehouse to the other i can transfer goods from from lagos warehouse to abuja warehouse that's internal transfer so delivery orders are what we deliver to customers and then of course this system has manufacturing and point of sales so that's why you're seeing all of these ones um then of course that's repairs and some other things as well now so see this receipt as a door that you use to receive product from your vendors or suppliers now after we raise that purchase um rfq and convert and confirm it to become a purchase order it will automatically trigger a document that will be sent to inventory that's why you are seeing one document here to process now so if you open this click on this button you will see that one document that is waiting to process now you can also see that this is warehouse in 003 in this case uh, wh is for lagos warehouse if it's a buja you will see another number here reference number so and then you see that this re receiving of goods this document comes from po number two so I will open that so we are to receive from vendor to stock and then the supplier of these goods um, is in the contact person so let's open this document so when you open the document you see more details the schedule date the deadline for this vendor to bring this item and you can also see that it comes from purchase order number two meaning that in this erp system 
there is no manual really no manual entry in the inventory section then you also see what was ordered uh, dining table five was ordered five quantity and then we are not receiving uh, there's no serial number for this table if there's a serial number then you can show you how to receive the serial number then you also notice that down here on the trail on the charter section here you can see that this came from PO number two and you can click here it takes you back to PO number two okay now it's time for us to receive this item into store so let's say this dining table we ordered five but this vendor brought three how can we handle that kind of operations so that the system will tell us this is what is left and then the vendor will bring that for us so if you did not receive all um, after you do your pot uh, your you know spot check or count then you should enter what you receive right here in the quantity that you receive now this sometimes might different from your um, database so if you are receiving a product that has serial number you, the process is different then or you can always click here you see how many was demand uh, where did i click i clicked on this more button here you can see so i can say okay um we order we received three right so three was received then i can now say save right you can see here or you can actually enter it directly from here uh, especially if you don't have serial number or lot number or batch number so three received five order three received well, how would this Ubu system handle the order balance now so you can do validate to push these three into your stock so i'll do validate and then when you click on validate it do pop up and then remind you that you have processed less products than the initial demand what do you want the system to do the back order means no back order means that you don't need this remaining two that you may forgive the vendor or you're not going to pay for the other two so no need of back order or but if the vendor said okay i'm bringing this three today i'll bring the remaining two tomorrow in that case um so if you need a document that you will use to receive the remaining doc uh, remaining supply then you need to create to create a back order so i'll just go ahead and create a back order so you see that once you click on create a back order Udo system will go ahead to create a document that will be used to receive the remaining items so you can see here that three has been received and then um, remember that this menu can take you take you back to wherever you want to go or wherever you came wherever you came from now so let me get back to lagos you can see uh, we're still having one left but let's check the purchase and see how this is uh, translating at that part of the business so you see the purchase we order five we have received three we have not yet paid any amount and if you look at the purchase you see that there's two receipt documents here attached right and the button receive product is still enabled because the vendor has not supplied all so now that the vendor is back to supply the remaining one uh, the inventory staff will go back to the inventory you may want to group by your warehouse so that you don't go and look for receipt on that a different warehouse so you can see there's still one document waiting and of course which is the one back order you can click here or you can click here to process now if i open this document you see that that two still here for us to receive and of course it comes from the same purchase order so i'll just go ahead and validate if it did if the vendor did not bring all i will still enter the number that he brought so i'll go ahead and validate this 
and then we'll close the transaction. So that's how to receive product into store. And then if we check out the inventory or back to purchase, we can see that um, we order the five and we have received the five. And then the button here for receiving product has gone away. And then um, we, we have two receipt documents here. If you open the two receipt, you will see also that it comes from the same purchase order. So back to our warehouse, let's see if the product is in the store. So you, how do you check for product? You go to product, you open the product your, uh, menu right there. And then uh, you check for its dining table. You can see it's five. Then if I open up the dining table, uh, I can still check for more. Uh, I see the five on hand. I can check the in and out. Uh, I can be able to see that this product came in. First of all, three came in, which is green, and then of course two came in later. So that's how to receive product from the supplier. And this means that this product that we are receiving came from purchase order. So um, don't forget, if you have any question, um, then you can get in touch with us and please check out other videos especially how to create products and then and vendors and other kind of uh, you know things you need to know so that you can be able to work with the system thank you very much um, see you in the next video